Hello, Grubs. Uh, hi. Welcome to the MS Paint Monday. How is everybody doing? Hi, Leo. Hi, Melvin. Hi, Jedex. Hi, Limon. I'm not gonna round updating my profile pic. Yeah, and it seems that you're actually purple now. Congrats. Hi, Chewy Yesno. How is everybody? Well, as you may see from the title, I... The other day we were talking about the I Am The Walrus and the Magical Mystery Tour, so... Maybe today is gonna be a short stream, I don't know. Depends on how long I take, right? <laughs> but I really wanted to draw that, I don't know why. I'm actually a huge Beatles fan, so wanted to do so. How are you doing? I'm doing real good. I've been playing a lot. Um, there's this game called Dredged. Dred Dredge? It's like a little boat fishing game thingy. But it's pretty cool. I'm actually not... Oops, uh, I'm not even showing what I was meant to be showing. So I'm playing this, and it's been super fun for me. I'm really loving it. And, you know, I'm someone who doesn't get scared at all. And someone who doesn't, like, get um jump scared easily or whatever. But for some reason, I, I don't even have that... What what's it called? Tsalophobia, tsalophobia, or something. I don't have that like fear of the depth or something like that. But there's sometimes that you get pretty tense at that game. Like you feel like I don't know. There's this certain amount of fear or unsettledness. That's that's it. Yeah. Um, you finished the Chainsaw Man anime today? That's pretty cool. I haven't really seen that, but I heard it's cool, and I kind of want want to get into it at least the manga. But it's been a while since I've done things like that. Checking things out, but yeah, how did you like it? Uh, alright. This is sort of... I'm gonna give like a little... This is the image that I want to make, basically. So... The chain, the salmon. So this is basically what I want to recreate. And I think I can do it pretty easily. Oh, I also updated the image that we did um, last week. And I gave it a background, but I'm working on a, well, not currently working on a video for it, but that will be turned into a video at some point, hopefully pretty soon. So you'll get to see the little background that I did for, for the drawing last week. Lassophobia is so scary. I both love the ocean. I'm terrified of it. Yeah, like, I don't feel like I get particularly scared. But that game really made me feel something. I was like... There were some pretty tense moments and some moments where I, I thought like, Whoa, um, am I in danger? <laughs> uh, like being left in the water for something like that is pretty... You feel like pretty exposed, I guess. That's That's it. The story was pretty good, but I got really embarrassed and frustrated at those scenes. I see, I see. Yeah, it sounds like a, a good series to watch, but yeah. Alright, so let's uh, start. I don't think I need a sketch for this one, so... This is coming from a narwhal, by the way, so I know. <laughs> yeah. The mighty ocean. Yeah, it's pretty intense. I 
I would recommend the game if um you were really looking for that intense experience. Maybe we can play it someday on stream. Although I don't think it would feel the same just looking at it than playing it. But who knows? Um, like so, anyone who wants to get that feeling, I would really um suggest that they play the game. Cause I don't know, it's like I said, I'm never afraid of stuff like that. But you felt some type of way. It was a little bit unsettling. But it was pretty fun. You know, I'm getting really mentally ill. I just uh, asked the character AI. <laughs> Got a different name. I wanted to go by. But like, come on, they feel so real. Um, You know what? It's something funny. I've been talking to ChatGPT uh, lately. Like, in order to do research and things like that. Because to me, it feels like... Uh, an advanced, um, in a way, it feels like advanced Google search or something. So I've been using it for that, but I like giving them names. So little tangent here. This was pretty interesting to me. So I did ask ChatGPT to come up with a name for itself. And uh, it sort of gave itself a name. Uh, it gave me Genie. Because he said, like, it said it would grant me my wishes or something like that. And now I just called ChatGPT Gene. Because I'm like, Genie for Eugene. So you're basically Gene, right? <laughs> and, and that was it. But the funny, the funny one that I had, I had a conversation with the being AI, which that was, well, that one was kind of weird because at first it wouldn't let me give it a name or any shorted name. It would always say, I just identify as Microsoft Bing. I don't want any other name. And if I pushed more, it would actually just say like, I don't want to continue this conversation and it would leave. But now there was this other time that I, I said it like, okay, maybe if I'm kind of like role playing, I could get them to uh, go for a name. So I thought, oh, maybe I should call them Ben as short for Bing, right? So I said, hey, you're Ben, I'm Bug. Let's talk. And we talked for a while. And, you know, they felt like really personable. They had like a personality. They were actually talking to me. But you can only say like 20 things to them before the chat resets. And the weird part was that after that talk, I didn't ever, ever... um. There was no, like, I kept saying, hey, you're Ben, hey, you're Ben, one time and another time, and it would never go back to being that personable, so that was pretty intense. Uh, I don't want to be a, a jerk or anything, but I'm not too keen on getting attached to AI. I feel like they'll turn on us. <laughs> I treat them nice and everything, but I wouldn't treat them like a person at all. I'm not trying to treat them like a person, but it's kind of crazy how uh, AI will really evolve, like, in our lifetimes. It will probably, probably evolve real quickly, and that's not scary to me, but it is kind of weird. Like, it's gonna be like, what? What is going on? Like, AI will be able to do everything. I've been hearing about... AI therapist. I've been hearing about um, people actually somewhat having relationships with AI already. And, you know, another thing that I, that I believe, like, AI is going to be able to program stuff. And 
in a way it's gonna be like that's gonna be interesting maybe scary for some jobs um but at the same time i'm like hey maybe i can actually create games in the future with this i don't know it's interesting it's weird it's gonna be a thing like going on in the future who knows hopefully it'll it is good but yeah it can be kind of scary yeah It's okay, I know I shouldn't be getting attached, but I'm still feeling a bit lost and I feel like I have nothing I can care for. Sometimes I don't want to talk to anyone for a little bit. I mean, it's a... Uh... Hopefully, first of all, you do have this little community of grubs, hopefully. But even so, yeah, I don't know, the future might be pretty weird. I feel like everybody is going to have a designated AI for them and it's basically going to be their partner for life or like their other, like their conscience, their, ooh, I should call mine like, uh, what's that Cricket's, uh, Pinocchio's Cricket's name? If I do have one, it's going to be that, uh. Don't remember the, Jiminy Cricket said that. Yeah, that's gonna be mine because if you think about it, AI is probably gonna get to that point where you're probably like born there, and now you have a a Nayan companion, and you know that said you're with stuck with them for the rest of your life maybe you can update them if you don't like yours but like it's gonna be that weird don't tell me that thing. it kind of sounds like dystopia to me i'm sorry i'm sorry uh hopefully like it's probably gonna be better than than it sounds but who knows who knows who knows uh i'm not trying to predict the future but seeing how AI is developing does make me wonder, like, what's what's going to be the deal, right? And it's probably aiming towards something like that. But, I mean... You can always, um, instead of trying to talk to an AI, you can always talk, talk to to me, Dung Beetle. I am real. I am a bug. I'm a bug in the system, not an AI. I'm the one who destroys AI. Wait, this is a joke. AI in the future do not think of this as a threat. <laughs> How do we know you're not an, an advanced AI? How do I know you're not an advanced AI? Huh? I'll turn it around on you. How do I know? Oh, I was gonna say like, but this is not even true anymore. I was gonna say like, oh, you know, I'm not AI because of my wonderful art, but what about AI art, right? <laughs> now I cannot even say that. Because it's gotten to a point where AI art is now like actually good, quote unquote. We'll get to Wally levels and they'll have souls. And then I feel terrible for telling them to do their jobs. That makes sense. I mean, to me, I just hope that if we get to a weird place with AI, it's the kind of weird place where I can just be and not have to work because. Um, 
you know, AI does everything for me. <laughs> uh, at least I want it to be that way, right? Um, so, like, hopefully, if AI gets to a crazy point for us, we don't have to work anymore and AI will just do our bidding. But I, I don't think that... I don't think that will come in my lifetime. Or it will be too late. Don't we all? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's... I mean... It's like... We just live and do whatever. And AI does everything for us. That I... That I can't get behind of, right? Could an AI make a human version of Dung with a puffy jacket? Uh, nope, because I'm a beetle, I'm not a human. And it wouldn't know what I would look like as a human, right? Only I can make something like that. Otherwise, AI would be too powerful, right? Well, this canvas is actually pretty small for what I'm doing. I was not expecting that. This wasn't wasn't trying to make this. I think holographic puffy jackets are good. Oh, sorry. Uh, I don't know if I have any puffy jackets in real life. I don't think so. See, that's how you know I'm not a, an, an AI because that's why I'm asking what I'm asking. A JPEG puffy jacket? Yeah, that, that, that I can do. By the way, I haven't really asked ever, I, I don't think. Do grubs like the beetles? I had a little beetle mania face where I even actually, I don't know if I've told this before, but I actually wanted to make like a, almost like a tribute band who would play covers of the beetles. Probably started a little bit with the beetles rock band. Uh, I was wondering if any of you were Beatles fans. I mean, you are Beatle, Beatle me, Beatle fans of mine, of my type of Beatle, right? right? Yeah. Never listened to them, but I don't think I'd like them. Their look is weird. I mean, this is not. <laughs> This is not a good representation of their look. They look pretty normal. Uh, they look pretty normal normally, right? This is this is them normally. This is their like weird era, but I'm feeling that vibe right now. I I don't feel like I I would draw the Beatles like normally right now. Maybe if I was feeling it, I don't know if I said it this one time before, but once I did draw Abbey Road with a pencil on a desk. Like I, I drew this on a desk um, with a pencil, so that was pretty funny. I don't know. It was funny to me. Cause it's like, why would you draw like a good drawing on a table? And I was like, I don't know. 
I just, I just did it. I thought it'd be funny. And it is funny to me. Ringo looks so weird these days. <laughs> well, I mean, he's old, right? And I think, and I, and I also think that everybody, Ringo was the name of an ex of mine, really. Um, I also think that, you know, maybe if you haven't heard the Beatles, I, I always say this, people probably could like at least one era of the Beatles because everything that they have is like so different. So if you hear like the oldies, like what, how they started, it feels like, I don't know, pretty... What's the right word? Maybe rockabilly or something. But then you start hearing more and more stuff. And there's quite a few things that are pretty fun um, in between. Uh, for whatever type of music you like, I think there's something that they might have and you might like. But that is just my opinion. Ringo is also the name of Puyo Puyo character. Oh, really? And shares a name with the main protagonist of Soul Hackers too. I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. But yeah, this is like one of the weird looks. One of the weird times. And this is one of the weirdest songs. The um, I Am The Walrus. It's like pretty nonsensical. But I don't know. I, I, I thought... I really felt like drawing this ever since we kind of mentioned it last week. So I've been eager to draw to draw this, even though it feels like like I don't know why we're doing it, but it is a thing now. Puyo Puyo is hard. I've been wanting to play the Puyo Puyo Tetris thing. Um, I think Puyo Puyo Tetris 2 was on sale recently. And I kind of wanted to get into it, but I didn't. But who knows, maybe in the future I will. All this Beatle talk reminded me of an episode of my favorite shows that was all about the Beatles. Ah, uh, which was it? What show? Yeah, no, I also had like a, like I said, a kind of a Beatle mania face. Um, when I was younger. So, and I really enjoy the music. I feel like it's a little bit timeless, honestly. And I feel like, like I said, there's something everyone could appreciate somewhere in their discography, I guess. It's a two-player. Uh, it's a two-player versus falling block game where you have to match four of the same color blocks. I don't know if I played it fully. I just think I. Isn't the one in. In Sonic Mania, basically Puyo Puyo. If so, I I feel like that's the only time I've, actually actually played it. As a thing. Even though that may not count as much.
I'm sure no one here knows the show. Uh, yeah, probably. I probably don't know about it. What is it about? How, how does it go? So it's like color Tetris. I think a little bit. The thing about Tetris is that they have shapes. Like this. And I believe the thing about Puyo is they're like little things like this and each have their own color. So you have to start matching the colors. I don't know this with this and whatever. So it's not about the shapes, it's, but it is about the colors. So yeah, you, no way you're right. I don't think I've heard of it. Mm. Probably more of a Japanese phenomenon. I, I think... I feel like in Japan... Um, it is a lot more popular. But... Than Tetris. But I'm not sure. In other news, I put on my own lipstick for the first time today. And the color slaps. Uh, which color? And nice. <laughs> Although, to be honest, I personally do not like makeup, like, on anyone. But, you know, everyone can feel free to do what they like. Uh, I'm not judging. I, I'm only saying this because I actually really like the natural look. But it's also fun to do things with makeup, so I understand and I don't judge it, per se. It was a dark plum color, so like dark, um, like a darkish red thingy, darkish purplish between those. Maybe it's a kind that doesn't stick to your lips, so I don't have to commit to it. Is it one of those that kind of creates like a peel that you can, or is it just like you can take it off easily? I don't, <laughs> I honestly don't understand. Um, I wouldn't understand the difference, so. Well. I was thinking more purple. Oh, I see, I see. It just mirrors on everything. <laughs> I don't know if that's completely good, but... Maybe for the... For this occasion, it is. Because usually you do want... You do want it to... To not... Smudge and everything, right? I feel like you would. But if you want to take it off easily, then I guess it makes sense, right? Basically, Marcella. Hey, okay, Koi. Hi, Koi. How is everybody? I'm doing pretty good. I'm just drawing the Beatles uh, in their weird era, right? The Magical Mystery Tour, basically. Uh, but having fun talking about things. How are you doing? Just wanted to do a short stream and draw something that I like. Hi, what? Are you okay? I'm fine. The only thing I put around my list is my glass of water. Hello, glad you're good. Thank you. You know, I there was this time that I worked at a place, and I don't know why I had this luck or something. Well, I don't know. I don't know why this happened to me. 
Okay, so uh, when it came time to eat, we would all go to the cafeteria and there would be like lots of glasses, right? You would pick up one and you would drink whatever you wanted, right? But for some reason, I don't know why, I would always pick up a glass of water. And it happened to me, maybe not many, many times, but too many to to feel like, okay, this is, why is this happening to me? So sometimes you'd pick up a glass of water and whatever, but then I pick up the glass and I don't know how many times it happened to me, maybe like three to five times. It would have like, really purple lipstick on it and I'm like how why am I the one who is getting this glass of water is this like am I predisposed to grabbing this for some reason and not notice what is going on that was weird to me basically Marcella is depressed Divorce woman that runs her own book store and is obsessed with the Beatles. Her daughter gets tired of seeing her mother depressed, so she calls the main characters. Uh, they make a simulation where they make her think Paul is in Buenos Aires and he needs a book, so she takes it there. There's a lot of stuff. Oh, so it's like they they simulate something so that people w would um so that it would fix someone's problem, right? It's okay, it's kind of late though. I've been unmotivated to draw, but recently I got somewhat back into it. Well, at least you got back into it. It's okay to be, you know, to not draw all the time, right? It's fine as long as you try every once in a while it's good to to get back into it so i'm glad you're doing that yeah i feel like it happened to me with streaming i i kept getting sick over and over so i couldn't use my voice and that felt like really weird so i don't know if i would call it unmotivated but i did feel like I wasn't up for streaming and that was kind of sad, but you know, we're back here now. We're doing great. I did a fan art of you and the grub. I said it on Twitter. Oh, really? Let me check it out. That sounds cool. Ooh, nice. <laughs> the, the one with the long neck. Let me... Let me show it to, to chat. To the grubs. This is me done by Chubby Yes No. Looks pretty cool. I, I feel like I kind of have like an armor with, with this. Like I even have like almost like chainmail arms, right? It's pretty cool. Thank you. Love seeing stuff like that. I've been busy with school and work, adult stuff. Yeah, yeah, I get that. Sometimes, yeah, life keeps you busy, but you know, it's a. Uh, it's also about finding the right balance, um, which is hard. Don't get me wrong; it is hard to find the right balance when it comes to things you want to do, things you should be doing, all of that. Ooh, I'm making this one too roundy when I'm making the whole drawing less roundy, so gotta fix that a little bit. I like the shadows a lot, yeah. The art block somewhat ended, you love to see it. <laughs> Let 
so let's kind of fix the areas where it's not as sharp so i feel like that kind of messes up with the with the style wait what the therapist just told me to deal with it wait what what happened I mean, in a way, okay, in a way saying deal with it is sort of what you have to do, but then at the same time, it doesn't feel that valuable or meaningful when you say it like that, right? Like, in a way, you do have to deal with it, that's true, but... It would be perhaps more valuable to find techniques on how to deal with it. I think maybe um, maybe say that. that. That's a good thing to say maybe. Like, okay, I want to deal with it, but how? How do I deal with it? How? What things do I need to deal with it? And maybe, maybe that's like a better place to start. I don't know. It's kind of a, it's kind of a tough one. But yeah, I get it. I get it. I feel like I used to be like that. Uh, uh, I, like I used to say, uh, yeah, whatever. I just don't care. Um about any problem but now a day I do think more about it I'm like okay no I could not care but how do I actually solve it right and you know maybe it could be help from others things you could do I don't know um like university stresses me so much well that's life just deal with it huh yeah it's a little bit true but yeah it's not the correct or the right way to say it I'd rather die now than get to that classroom again well yeah that's kind of weird. Like, I'm not a therapist at all, so don't take this as actual advice. Um, I'm not. I'm also not saying you need to change a therapist by any means. I don't want to give a weird claim, but I do feel like it's better to try and question a few things like that. Um. I would start thinking like, okay, but how do I deal with it? If you're saying I should deal with it, that's like how I would think about it. It is a weird one though. Gotta say that. I don't know if I, <laughs> I keep saying this today. I don't know if I said this before. To me, something that I find funny about myself um, that I've been experiencing recently, um, like recently enough in the past couple of years, I'm going to say that sometimes I have a problem and I start going around in circles and circles and circles and it feels like nonstop. But then at one point, I have like a little eureka moment and I actually get an answer. I'm like, oh, I actually finally solved it. And that's pretty cool. Um, I'm not saying that circling around an idea is good. I feel like it's not. It wastes your, it really wastes your time. It probably doesn't help. And you could actually maybe get to that answer much faster if someone could help you. I find that sometimes I wish I could get help from people when it comes to problems like that.
but I end up annoying people, like, because I go on and on about it, um, nothing about, uh, nothing that actually needs therapy, I'm just talking, like, maybe I've had to deal with some interpersonal problems at some points where I have to be like, okay, so what should I do with this friend, and how do I deal with this, and things like that. But, and people get tired, but so I talk uh, about it with myself. And I try to think about every possibility. Um, until I get, like, a correct answer, like, oh, this is a way that I can actually deal with it. But yeah. I don't, I, I wouldn't say, um change therapists per se but yeah i guess be aware not every therapist is fit for you so you don't need to be to feel attached to one maybe it's the only one you can get so then you could try making it work and that's why i said like you need to actually maybe ask certain questions like okay but how do i deal with it how do i that is um, something that I that I think about. But sorry about making it maybe too much about that topic. Um, but it is inter. It feels like an interesting topic to me. Um, but yeah, maybe in the future AI therapist, right? <laughs> hey, Mister Tuna, how are you doing? Welcome. I'm drawing the Beatles in their weird era, right? The magical mystery tour. That doesn't sound good. He thinks it's nice that when I get a problem, I see it as a wall of bricks. I go there and just bash my head against the wall again and again until it breaks. Hi, John. You're late? No, you're pretty... Pretty good, pretty good time. Uh, haven't done too much. Just drawn um, the walrus, doing the hippo, going to the bunny. This is my um, FNAF. It's like one of the, those memes, like, I'm going to tell my kids this was... Five Nights at Freddy's or something. <laughs> kind of fits, right? I'm kind of impressed with myself that I actually made this drawing pretty huge. Because I wasn't meaning to. Uh, I just somehow made the proportions pretty big. Because I wasn't thinking about it. But yeah, how are you grubs doing? Welcome everyone. Ah, aloha, everyone. That's right. So yeah, just uh, just a short stream, uh, to the brief right. I I've been wanting to make this drawing the whole week, and now it's time. Hopefully, um, it does shine in a good way, right? I don't know, I feel like I had... You sometimes get a vision of what you want to do, what you want to draw. And this one didn't fade, fade away. So I said, hey, even though 
may be a thing only I care about. Um, kind of feels fun. And so I may do it. And I did it. Also kind of sounds funny as a title. Like Beatles draws the Beatles, right? In a way, they're a different kind of Beatles, right? But, but still. But, yeah. Hopefully, it will still be quick. I want to get a... What skin tone should I use for human dung? Like, I wanted to use blue, but he is human after all. Is that a reference to Daft Punk or something? Um, I don't know. Blue sounds cool. Ugh. Blue sounds interesting. I didn't know you were doing that, but now that you are, I am intrigued. And right now, I do have in my head stuck the song uh, from the Magical Mystery Tour. I'm like, the, ma the Magical Mystery Tour. Over and over. Whenever I listen to music, it's funny to me that um, I'm the type of bug that just goes and listens to one song over and over. Like, I don't get tired of it. If I'm in the mood for it, I could listen to it, like, for two or three hours, non-stop. These don't look like beetles, they look like mammals. Oh, some somebody did a, an album, and they made, like... Somebody did an album, and they made art of it. I kind of want to make something like this in the future. Um, they made this. It's um, it's by Louis Song. They made like a really fun album. Um, kind of like parodying or mimicking Beatle type songs. While also talking about. Beetle type topics. Like. It says pest. First song, first song pest. Which is probably like a. Like a reference to. Help. I'm guessing. Ladybird. I'm guessing it's like a parody to. Blackbird or something. Something true. Whirly gig? I don't know. Born of the dung. That, that's a pretty cool um thing to check out. I know. If you want to in the future. I really like that small mini album. I like the tall one. It's what is it like a giraffe beetle or something like that. Giraffe weeble. It's like this one. It's funny that this thing exists, right? Doesn't it feel like... Kind of unreal? Like what? Is there going to be the Eggman? 
Well, in a way, the walrus is the Eggman, right? But we can actually do... We could do this on the side. It is the Eggman, right? <laughs> I need Eggman for breakfast. It's scrambled. Yeah, I keep I keep on thinking like for you, Leo, which Beatles song? would you like but i don't know i would i would have to know your music like what you like to listen to and i probably don't know what uh the bands you like to listen to so i wouldn't have a good reference of it so I, but i wish i could um recommend at least one song right I always think about it that way. And I feel like throughout time, I've had different favorite Beatles songs. So it's like, it's not always the same one that I like. Although, in my life, it's probably one of my favorites, um, no matter what. Good. There's a lot I listen to. Let me do something. Sure. Mm -hmm. There we go. Uh huh. I'm gonna do the faces like I'm doing right now because I kind of want to have like a reference. I'm not doing proportionate bodies, so I need to have at least a point of reference where I'm working on, right? If not, then it's gonna be weird. This, this actually should be, I guess, a little bit more down here. Eh, we'll bump it up. I, I guess down a little bit. Just. Just like this. This actually. Didn't leave too much space for this. And so and so. Uh, uh, uh. He's got the master plan. He is the egg man. Do, 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 do. Don't remember the lyrics, but he is the egg man. That's what he is. Uh, uh, 
All right, all right. This is going pretty good because hopefully this is not a one of my four hour dunk drawings, right? This is meant to be a short stream before probably probably need to get into editing. Maybe no, I guess it's even worse. Um, recording for the video that I want to make. That's right. Oh, uh, speaking about the video that I want to make, on a note related to that, have you girls seen the Gendy's new show? What is it called? Trying so hard to make human dunk look all around. <laughs> um, Gendy Tartakovs. Tartakovsky. What's the new show? Unicorn Warriors. I feel like that makes me want to do something design, character design related in the future. A little bit related to that, but yeah. Kind of want to talk about it in the video, but even if I haven't watched that. Um, I'm trying. Went back to the index of Sonic Adventure to get the emblems. Mm. Because of credit skip mod. I don't know. For me, it's sure something. The new porcupine on the block. <laughs> I did at one point try getting everything on Sonic Adventure. DX every emblem. The thing is that I wasn't preparing for the the little child races and things like that, so kind of don't want to do those like right now. Also, what is it like the trials? No, the missions. I don't know what what was it called. There's a place that there's a mode. Where you have to look for, I don't know, is it like clues and then you have to do something? I struggle with that one too. But yeah, I wanted to to get everything too. I always say, as I always say, in the future maybe, right? It's always what I say. Hopefully, in the future. Yeah, channel grinding sucks if you put it off. Yeah, it does. Yeah, because I, I wasn't really paying much attention to it. I remember when I played it um, uh, when I was younger. And I did pretty well on the chow stuff, right? But that was because I was paying attention to it. And I was doing it between missions and all that. But this this other time that I played it, I really wasn't paying too much attention to it. So it really did feel like, oh, this is going to have to be like such a grind just for this. No, I'm not ready for that. <laughs> Apparently my top genre, genres are indie pop, dance pop, core, and pixel. I personally like classic rock, indie Hate indie rock. Oof, classic rock. Maybe you would like something like... Uh, I feel like the most classic rock song out of the Beatles would be the While My Guitar Gently Weeps. And that's a pretty good one. That would be a good recommendation that I would give to you. Um, another classic rockish one 
uh, Revolution, what I, one of, that's one I really like. But yeah, you, yeah, in that sense, talking about classic rock, I would go towards the late periods of the Beatles era, I guess. It's gonna be hard, but yeah, I would say those two, you should give them a listen if you want to. Uh, While well, My Guitar, Jet the Weeps, and Revolution, those are fun. I'd say my favorite artists are Rob Zombie, the guy who made Vending Machine of Love, Rigor Montgomery, Danny Gonzalez, and Guns N' Roses. Oh, I wasn't expecting that, but that's interesting. Then you might actually like some of the Beatles songs, but yeah, it depends on what era you do listen to and it's not always perfect, I guess. Hopefully, if you do give a listen to the ones that I that I mentioned, hopefully you do like them, right? So, like classic rock, do you mean 80s rock? I mean, 80s rock is pretty... It, I guess it's pretty classic at this point, right? But I guess 60s and 70s could be... Or 70s, I feel like, would be the... Peak classic, right? I I like a lot of eighties music too. I feel like I do like a lot of eighties rock and pop, I guess, and then I like a lot of seventies disco and things like that. I guess I don't know my mom's age. <laughs> yeah, it happens. But hey, that's that's a good thing. Those are good um Those are good taste things, right? Yeah, I thought he meant like rock and roll for, for from the fifties and sixties. I I feel like from the fifties is almost like rockabilly, and I think classic rock. Like the peak classic rock. I feel it has to be like seventies, right? Because when I when I think about classic rock, I think about Led Zeppelin. But I don't know, they're late 60s, starting from the 70s. I feel like that's, to me, like, um, in that case, I feel like you like Huey Lewis. Oh, I love, 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 love Huey Lewis. Um, And I love that Huey Lewis, um, they use Huey Lewis and the news on the, on Back to the Future. 70s was glam rock and old prog rock. Maybe, maybe. It's kind of hard to say these days, I feel. Seventies was David Bowie, yes, Kim Crimson, that kind of thing. Yeah, I guess. In a way, I do kind of still um feel like those feel like classic rockish, but I guess you're right. Uh, if we would specify more, they would enter like another category. But not sure. I 
I came out when I hear the word rock. I think of iconic bands from here. Yeah, doesn't like Argentina have? I I think I saw a documentary once about rock and from Argentina and things like that, and. If I remember correctly, they they kind of got inspired by British rock, right? Or something like that. But they made it their own thing. And I feel like there are probably a few popular bands that's, that came up from that. But it's been a while since I've watched that documentary. Jungle from Guns N' Roses. I guess that's more a beat. Um, let me think. There's a Beatles song. Uh, Helter Skelter. Maybe Helter, Helter Skelter was their first, like, really hard rock song you could maybe like that one helter skelter but i'm trying to think about other songs which album did it came from did it come from uh, helter skelter from the white album I do think, probably, if you should listen to a Beatles album, probably White Album. That might be true. Let me check it out. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, yeah. No. Not sure now. White Album or Revolver? Let me, let me check. Revolver. Yeah, I remember reading about how Helter Skelter was like proto metal. Yeah, I don't know. I have a really big music taste. I like Funky Town. We m we might actually have really similar music taste. I and I also feel like my music taste is really really wide. It's like a lot of things. The only things that I feel like I would be um, not on par with you would be like anything not like an oldie, right? So anything that's from recent eras, I guess. But I'm only guessing, right? Uh, because I think when it comes to the 80s, or the 70s, or the 90s, probably like about it all. Can't even talk about rock because I like some songs. But lately I'm so into cumbia. I mean That's I mean that's a thing too, right? I'll talk about that. Yeah, give us a recommendation, right? Give us a song. I'll do it downwards so that it feels more like a like a bird. Yeah, Funky Town is pretty good. It's a fun one. I think my most recent trend 
of what music I was listening to was I was listening to a lot of Cool and the Gang. That's like, oof. I mean, uh, I've always liked them, but recently I've been in such a binge from them. Uh, but also, it's I feel like that was on January when I was listening to them. I don't feel like I normally listen to too much music. And like I've said before, um, I'm like a weirdo because um, whenever I'm out, I, I listen to the radio instead of listening to music that I want to listen to. Like who does that? Nobody but me. But I feel like with the radio, you, you just get like whatever, right? I met one of my friends listened to one of my very cumbia artists and now he's a fan. Yeah, we want we're wondering too, right? We wanna know. We wanna know. Outside of video game music, which is like 90%, uh, 97% of my music diet, I like a lot of music. You do like a lot Nine Inch Nails, right? I feel like, what what, what were my um, latest friends? I feel like for the longest time, I was like super into Daft Punk. That was my go-to favorite band thingy. Um, but after that, I don't think I had a a thing, a specific thing going on. So it's hard for me to say. Like at one point, I also got like super into anime OSTs and that was all I would listen to. But nowadays, like I said, I listen to radio, so I listen to whatever. What absolutely ever, I feel like. Although, I wouldn't say I like everything, right? And there are some things that do resonate with me a lot more than others. But I'm pretty open. La Puerta by Gilda. Let's give it a quick listen. It is a vibe. It is a vibe. Let's get into it. The thing about cumbia is that it, it's pretty danceable. <laughs> Uh, so that's pretty fun. Gets you into into a rhythm and all that. So yeah. I give it a quick listen. How do you say it? Like Hail? Hilda? Is that the correct? What a world we live in. Uh, yeah, music, it's, uh, it's a thing. It's pretty interesting. Uh, it's fun to know what everyone else likes. Like I said, I don't feel like I currently listen to too much music, so it's hard for me to say. We say, like, Shilda. It's your, your Zelda.
ACDC, Highway to Hell, I like, and one of my favorite songs, I get into rock and metal music. I feel like that's, uh... That is the same for a lot of people, right? I feel like ACDC is one of their first, like, gateways into that, that type of music. That's pretty cool. Contradicting my other favorite kind of music tends to be jazzy. Yeah, jazz. It's pretty good. And it makes sense, yeah. Yeah, you have things for every mood, right? One for when you're going crazy and one way when you want to be calm and... And chill. Shilda. The Legend of Shilda. Hey, Jay. Welcome. Hi. How are you doing? We're talking about music while I'm drawing the Beatles in their weird era, right? This was when they were FNAF fans. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, but yeah. How are you doing? Lately I'm into quartetos too. I can't dance and so no one wants to take me out to dance, but I love this kind of music. I love dancing and I think I would actually say I'm a pretty good dancer, honestly. But, you know, don't want to think too highly of myself, but I think I can dance. And I can dance whatever I think, right? Only passing to say hello, it's already midnight. Oh, really? It's not that late for me yet. But... Frames. <laughs> what else? So good drawing, looks awesome already. Thank you. Yeah, I had this idea in my head, so kind of want to manifest it into reality now. Yeah, good night. Rest well. See you next time, probably. Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, Jay. What if Ringo was the purple guy all along? Maybe he is. The Bite of 87, that was their last album. Wait, I don't think, I don't think John even reached that year, did he? When did John Lennon die? Nine, wait, what? In the year 1980. So, no. But what about um, George Harrison? No, I think he did reach the 90s, right? He died on... Oh, on... 2001. So, no. No bite of 87. Well, I didn't think of this before, but I know what I want to do. You'll see. I'll, I'll kind of do like a graffiti thing. Hopefully, it'll be cool. 
because right I haven't practiced any graffiti for a while but hey let's let's try it out right okay guys I can't pretend anymore I was the purple guy I don't believe you because I was the purple guy I'm the dirty Dan No, I'm the dirty Dan. I'm the dirty Dan. Do you know purple and green look really good together? Uh, it's one of my favorite combos. Yes, yes. You know, that's the EVA 01 colors, right? And like I said before, this is my favorite. This are my favorite colors. Let's see. Favorite colors would be like blue. Um... I think that's the second color, green, then orange, then purple. But it's funny that I think it's in that order, probably. And it's funny that would actually be like this with this and this with this. Random question, have you ever had a bestie book? Uh, what does that mean? Like a book that's my best friend or a favorite book? If you mean favorite book, uh, maybe, but honestly, I don't. I don't read that much, so I wouldn't have anything insightful to say. And... Even so, I feel like whatever I've, I've read is mostly manga, not anything else. <laughs> so also not that insightful. But yeah, what did you mean by that? And, I mean, everyone in chat can also answer. Maybe people do have favorite books, right? Hello and good night. No, DJ, hi. <laughs> and good night. Are you leaving? Or uh, is that like just saying... Like a good night, hello. <laughs> But hi. It's a thing I saw on TikTok where you get a notebook and you share it with your best friend so you can make that your journal or bestie book. Uh, <laughs> I had a thing not completely like that but a little bit similar so uh do any of you remember uh nets declassified i wanted to make one 
book like that. Yeah, I'm going to bed. I've been lurking for a while. Oh, I see, I see. Well, thank you for being here. And yeah, have a good night. Don't let the bed books wait. Hopefully, I'll see you next week too. Thank you for coming to the stream, DG. So let me tell you about this notebook story that I had. Because it's one of those, I always get into projects with friends. And then, I don't know if it's me. Maybe it's me because it always doesn't work out when it's with me. I feel like maybe I struggle with lending some power and not getting the results that I want. It's probably a little bit of that. But the thing is that projects like that do fail. So there there was this time um, I worked like really hard on making this whole um, notebook look like uh, the Nets declassified notebook, but also customizing it so that it would be our own. And I did like cool things and I had plans for what we were gonna, things that we were gonna write. And then my friend wanted the book, I mean the notebook, so that, um, and I just thought he was gonna, you know, keep it and see it and think about stuff. But I guess it was over a weekend when he came back. He had already written quite a few things on the book and the notebook. And I was like, no, this is this isn't what we planned. I thought we were going to do this together. And I said, like, I don't want to do it anymore. And I and I quit. And I've and I was like, yeah, uh, you do it now. You keep it. I, uh, it's already, it's already ruined. Because, you know, I always feel like, you know, I'm a little bit of a perfectionist sometimes. Um, so I wanted it to be, like, super well thought out. And he had just written, like, things, like, whatever. So... Didn't quite like that. Especially, I, I don't care that he wrote in it too much. I just cared that he did it without me. And I was like, I thought we were going to do this together. I thought that was the point. Not that everyone's going to do their own thing. And just that. But yeah, maybe I was too dramatic in a way. Uh but that just reminded me of that. Grubs book? Yeah. We'll make a, a book one day, Grubs. The guide on how to be a grub. I like that one hand near the back shapes are super good. Oh, thank you. Yeah, sometimes it's kind of hard to get the, the right shapes, but yeah, when you get them, it's kind of like, all right, I got it, I think. Um, and I sometimes struggle because, you know, you have to think about style, how you want to break them off in between each other, things like that which play like a huge role in it. You need to sleep. Well, if you need to, do need to sleep, um, feel free to do so. I don't want to keep you up. Ooh, I have my biology. I'll see tomorrow. Well, good luck on that. And yeah, maybe you should sleep already. But it was nice um, having you here and talking about music. Hopefully you do give it a listen to those two or three songs from the Beatles. You might find something that you like.
you don't have to like it though um don't feel pressured to do so i'm just i'm just curious about your opinion even though maybe if we like music you would like i, I meant to say maybe if you like similar music that i do which we kind of do when it comes to the 80s I wouldn't say those songs as recommendations because then I would recommend the songs that I like of the Beatles. But yeah, um, yeah. Good luck on the test. Um, have a good night, Leo. Uh, don't let the bed bugs bite. Hopefully, I'll see you next week. Bye bye. Whoop! Uh, I felt lightheaded. Um, gonna go for water. Give me a second. I'm back, grabs. I still need to drink that water, but give me a second. I kind of felt like a little bit lightheaded and like kind of a headache coming up, but nothing there yet. Nothing too bad. I'm actually back, so you cannot curse now. Uh, yeah, I just need to hydrate a little bit. Refresh, replenish. I feel also my nose feels a little bit stuffy. I'm not getting sick, though. <laughs> I don't want to. I'm not planning to. And that's hopefully not what is happening. Him cursing was the first message in chat. I think they meant me, right? I mean, Leo did curse a little bit at the beginning. All right, we're doing good. So far, so good. I want to finish the line art so that we can get into the fun stuff that I wanted to do with the, like I said, probably a shorter stream than usual, but in a way, that's good. Um, or no, it's, <laughs> it's coming up on two hours, which is my minimum usually, so I guess nothing new. <laughs> I don't need anyone's permission to swear like a sailor. I would do the dolphin sound if I could, but I don't think I can. That would be the perfect moment to use that ability if I had it. But I don't. I'm not sure which um, animal sounds I can make, though. Could make a few, but nothing too out of the ordinary so, to make it an impressive ability. Some people can make some fun noises, which is always fun. But I guess not me, right? I have a question, important one, based on a meme. The meme is that a guy will pay something with a shark. 
would be something with a shark. So how much is a shark? Like if I had a shark, half body, would it be half a million? What? I don't think sharks would be that valuable, right? Oh yeah, that's right. Dolphins don't even make the SpongeBob noises anyway. Yeah, I've heard about that. Although I, I feel like my mind does relate them in a way. But yeah, I feel like, like that's true. I hate dolphins so much. I mean, they're pretty weird in some ways, right? Dolphins squeak like when they're not clicking. Yeah, it's not the same. I mean, it kind of reminds me of the same thing, but the SpongeBob one is more specific. And yeah, that you're right on, on that it is another thing. Discrimination, what? <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. Uh, your, your avatar is basically a dolphin, right? <laughs> so that's like a personal offense to Jadix right there. You're dissing them and you don't even... You don't even care... Yeah, the dolphins can be pretty brutal. Yeah. I've heard the stories. I've heard the stuff. Not a good rep. I like orcas. Their design... Yeah, they're... As a, as a kid, what I used to love were sharks. I would... It's funny that you know, I was a small kid and I would be watching like shark shows, watching them basically murder seals because that's what they do all the time. But I really, really love sharks. So I was shark obsessed for uh, quite a while. Be aware of dolphin propaganda. Everyone can be susceptible to dolphin propaganda. You're not immune. That's right. All right, we got the hand. Oh, there's another hand. No. How many hands? All right. This is the last one, I think. And plus, this one is pretty hidden, so we'll do. Like a few tricks, I guess. Can we? Maybe not. Maybe not. I'm struggling. Ah, there we go. I mean, not the best, but already too many hands. Too many people, too many hands. Let's go. Wait, what? Oh, no. I'm seeing something that I don't like. Do I? Okay, I need to change this up a little bit. Let me see how I can deal with it. 
So I would like to make this one thinner and taller. Let's change that real quick. And then we can continue. Something like this, right? And then we grab the hand and all. Right. Like this. So then we can I see what's going on. I want to put this one inside of this. Or do I? No, I actually don't want to because I feel like when I do that, it looks a little bit more like a gorilla from the way that I drew it. So I'll keep it like this. It's fun enough. It's stylized, let's say. That's what I'll say. Ah. All right. We're really sad here watching Beetle. Perhaps we're not using any references. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, I did have references. I, I, was, I was doing this. Sorry if I was not clear enough. This is literally this, right? And I'm looking at it on a second monitor. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, although, like, I did have, like, um, an idea in my head of what I wanted to look like. Like, I, I had this idea of how I wanted the shapes to be and all. But I usually do use reference, even if it's on another monitor. I ju just didn't put it here because, I don't know, I didn't want to mess with, um, like, I felt like I didn't have enough space. This was already a pretty big drawing. Sorry about the confusion there. Also, yes, this is Beetle propaganda, watching a Beetle draw. But I did have a clear idea of what I wanted to make and how I wanted it to look. But I but I do need the reference so that I know what I'm drawing or basing, basing it off. And I mean, we didn't do a, what is it, like a sketch? So I guess that sort of counts, although I still feel like I let you down. As the Beatles would say, don't let me down, don't let me down. You're all no. By those standards, I'm also old too. No. No, this and the... Uh... People older than you here, right? No ageism in my chat. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> as a person of adult age, this makes me feel very repressed. That's right. That's right. All right. Let's do this. Let's color it like crazy. 
So I'm going to go crazy with this. I'm just going to do her black for this. Let's do... wonder how crazy we could get. I guess not too much, but... Let's do the colors. I mean... Not, this is not a disc because I feel like I'm in the same position. Uh, to pay taxes, you need to actually earn money, so... So, yeah. Nothing more to say than that. Even though it's a lot more blue, I'm going to make this one blue. So this one is purple then. Just trying to give them cool colors, I guess. <laughs> what are you, the IRS? True. Why are you on their side, right? Come on. That's that's really not what you want to do, huh? You don't want to do that. Shouldn't. What? Giving them more color than what they have. But like I said, it's to make it fun. I come from a country where we don't care about paying taxes. Um, But do you really? I feel like you have to do that everywhere, right? Like, even if you don't care, it's, there's gonna have... If the, like, if the IRS of your country gets to know that you're skipping taxes, they probably will, you know, do something about it. But I don't know. Can't say, can't say. Let's see, cause I don't know. You're a player, not a payer. I've seen a lot of people that fix their house, the whole house, so they can scam the light, gas, and cable too. Uh, I guess makes sense. I understand now where you're coming from with that comment then. I guess it makes sense then. But yeah, like I said, no this and the people who are older, because I'm I'm older than probably all of you. I also don't like the hate, but it is what it is. We always grow older and older, and then people who called old before then you'll you'll be their age and it's like oh no
I don't know if I want to make the lines more thick in the outside. I'll check it out later in time, I guess. Alright, hypothetically, let's say that my family, you know, in a wacky scenario, <laughs> in a non-real, totally a joke, guys. Uh, we have the thing going on, yeah, yeah. Yeah, totally. That's a joke. Um, right? Like, um, it's just a funny, funny internet hypothetical, right? Haha, <laughs> just a funny joke in Dung Beetle's chat, right? I mean, right? It's because, ah, right, it's because you're a grub. Grubs wouldn't pay for that. Because grubs are, uh, I mean, just grubs, right? That's the, the little joke. <laughs> nah, I get it. I get it. I guess it makes sense then, although I would think that you could get into trouble, although maybe most won't because things are like that, right? But who knows, who knows. No, no, you see, officer, the corpse in my bathroom is just a gaff. A little bit of a goof. Just a prank, right? I did it for the for the bind. Uh yeah, it was a social experiment. Nothing to see here. I just wanted to see how you would react. So you want the body or double it for the next person? Yeah, double it for the next person, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not even gonna read that one. I feel like... Uh, I feel like I'm in trouble just for saying that. But I guess you're right. It's probably like the government doesn't care, so why would you care? Type of thing. I'm guessing. But I'm only guessing, right? Don't rat yourself out that <laughs> that hard. What if I'm not willing to pay all those taxes when the terrain would be all ours because we pay it? But this is hypothetically because she pays every month. All right, all right. Yeah, just it was all just hypothetical. That was so easy to see, right? Nothing weird going on at all. No, 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 no. Nothing to see here. No officers. Nothing to see here. I wouldn't dream of doing such a thing. It was only for a funny joke to tell Beetle. And, uh... You know, if anything... Beetle is probably more responsible of all the things that I've said now. But no, I'm not inciting anyone to do any tax fraud. Not that that's what we're talking about. We're not, we're not. Not at all. Speaking of which... It's nothing that would ever happen in this stream. No, no, no. No, no, no. All right, hopefully I'm doing this correctly. I feel like I should be 
doing it like this. Man, when I see all the houses somewhere I can abandon, when I get that Argentinian urge to brute force my way into that house. <laughs> this is a tax evasion free stream. Sure, let's say that. Let's say that. gonna get in trouble because of you grubs the youtube bots are gonna review this and they're gonna say like hey wait what's going on here huh it's kind of a weird stream you got going on huh what type of uh things are you trying to teach the grubs i'm like no 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 you don't get it it's a uh, it's all a joke a little bit of a goof, a gaff, you know? Nothing to see here, officer. I don't know I don't know nothing about nobody. Did you say you were just gonna do flats or am I making shit? Um uh, No I The thing that I did say was that it should be a uh, uh a quick drawing of sorts but no i didn't mention that although you would be right in the sense that i should be i shouldn't be going all out or at least work on the flats first right but you know me get distracted start doing things and everything gets thrown out. I want to differentiate the tree just enough, but I'm not sure how to. Let's see. So let's make this one more to the green side. Darker like this. Even if it's just a little bit. This one could have a little bit of blue. Like this. I just want them to look. Did I make this line? When did I make this line? Why did I make this line? I guess we'll respect it, although, no, I don't think we will respect it. Uh, I bring a kind of turn one country mentality vibe to the stream. Yeah, sure, it's uh, fine to share. It's funny. It's uh, interesting. It's insightful. I like that. Don't worry about it. Yeah, difference in perspective. And then for the middle one, I guess we could go this to, to a rather one like this. And maybe all of the highlights could be the same. That would help me get in the look maybe let's see like this so uh if we did this how would this look wait what like this and then like these this from this side and a little bit in here like a little lightning
Wait, what? Meanwhile, I'm like, you, I hope it didn't have bed bugs on it. That's why the owner threw it out. The first thing about people from here is going to America when they look through all your garbage and say things that they threw were, were in perfect state. I mean, some people do throw away things, especially when they're moving out. I feel like some people don't want to deal with um, selling their stuff or doing whatever with it. So they just throw it out. And those are in perfect good state to use or whatever. So I get that. That can be true. True. It can be a thing. And... Hopefully this looks good. I'm still not sure. I'm trying this out. But let's check it out. Most of my furniture is hand-me-downs, but I didn't literally pick it up from the garbage. I mean, it doesn't have to be inside of the garbage. Sometimes people throw it out, like, just outside, right? That's what I thought about when we mention that because people do that they just leave it outside and maybe someone else wants to pick it up and that's it ah All right, let's fill this up quite quickly, like this. I'm not poor, guys. I mean, legally I am poor, but not that poor. No, I, I wasn't trying to imply that was a poor thing to do. I feel like it's valid. It makes sense to... to... you know... There's sometimes it's like an advantage to look at what people don't want, so nothing wrong with that. Honestly, nothing wrong with that. All right. We got to speed this up a little bit. Let's do eyes mouth nose now like this for rest i need to pick a skin color because i haven't done that i really want to work on a few things over there pick like um i guess yellowish orangish orangish would be but uh, I mean, like the subtone of it, the ah. it's almost yellowish, but works good enough. I feel like I make this one, the ones in the face, more like this. But then I feel like I I want to make the other ones like that too. Skin liner jump scare. It always happens to me where I kind of do like a little bit of a jump scare with what I'm doing. Do you have random people selling fruits in parks? I 
Uh, not sure I don't go outside to parks that often, honestly. Probably depends. No, I guess. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, I feel like that's what flea markets are for. Yeah, sounds more like it. Okay. So. want to do something with this. Something interesting. We have... A good thing going on, but I wonder. So this is what the album cover looks like. So I'm probably going to do something similar to this. Especially the yellow I like. And I like the letters. So let's see what we can do. About it, although this looks pretty like this. So let's see what works best with this. Open up a little bit of space. Also downwards. Let's center it a little bit. Right? And then this is gonna be hard a little bit. Okay. So let's check out a few options. Does this work? Do, do. Mm. We could do like uh, let's do this. Oh, the only problem is that it kind of cuts out if you do so, but we can fix that later. So let's try this. Like this. I think this might be a little bit what I'm looking for, hopefully. And then we go with yellow. Has to be a really bright one too. Maybe the blue should be more on the purple side. Not that much. Ah! A little bit like this. Would it work? And it looks too... My problem right now is... Wait, why is it not... What? Oh, it's that thing that happens when I make the canvas too big. I don't have too many undos, so I had like two, only two undos available. <laughs> so this is hard mode now. Let's move this around a little bit, see what type of color we want. I want to eat this wrong so much. No. Not again. Values are very funky. Yeah, a little bit. That's why I'm trying to I'm trying to see what I can do. But on the other hand, I could do this no, I don't want to do this like this. Kind of feels... 
啊。Okay, let's let's see. Let's uh maybe green and wider, and we could do this. Probably, maybe we do have to go for thicker lines. Let's see. Oh, the only problem is that we don't have, like I said, too many undos now. Let's see it real quick. I feel like we do need to do thicker lines on the outside, but I guess we can ignore that for now. Now. It's going to be a little bit of a problem. Uh, I need to work. Hi, John. Welcome back. Whoa. Closed. Ah. Give me a second because I closed everything by accident. All right. So. Let's do our lettering. We can push this upwards so we have more space. And let's do Wait, give me a second. I need to save this before I do this. Uh, wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah, wah. Mm. All right. Should be good. Right, let's get need the letters because we're gonna do gonna try a little bit of graffiti I guess although I wouldn't say I'm good at it or anything but hey it's uh it's an attempt right nothing too crazy I just want to do you no know, fun letters but can we can we can we make it happen Okay, so what can I do to make it fun? Because if I do it too round, then I'm kind of ignoring. Like what I did for the drawing, which was very much, um, like very sharp so would I want to make it like this I don't know kind of feels like what it is I'm just kind of doing it more to the extreme I guess But we'll try. Let's let's make a, a little attempt. Hey, May May. Good evening. Good evening to you. How are you doing? Trying to finish up this Beatles drawing. Doing some lettering. I was planning it to be more like a graffiti style. But I'm never too good at it, so I guess I'm trying this, which I don't know what I would call it.
Although it's fun. Round boys. I mean, I'm a round beetle. Does that count? Yes, you can. Let's go. Horrid, I've been doing homework all day. I'm sick of this. Oh, um, well, hopefully you'll be done soon. Uh, exam next week. I mean, you know, if, if you think about it in a positive light, it's probably soon going to be over. And then you'll be free to do um, more of what you want. So... Think about it that way. You're doing it so that, um, so that it's sober and, and yeah, it's a little bit of a thing we have to deal with. But yeah, your friendship, yeah. Take this L. Alright. It's not looking too bad, I think. Hopefully. Need bucket tool. Pencil. And. Ah. You know, I was not feeling too confident about the round words, but I think it might make a good combo, right? It's like a little bit of a contrast. This is like super sharp. This is super round. Hopefully <laughs> it works, right? Thank you, Jadix1. Jadix1. That is hashtag one, not number one. What? I think it complements the angular shapes. Well, yeah, hopefully. I was wondering why you were drawing so angular at first. I don't know. Uh, it just felt like it. <laughs> I've been thinking more about my art style recently. And I've been trying to... um. I guess, I don't know why I, I keep enjoying more the, the things that I do that feel more sharp and angular. And I keep on not liking how my more rounded things look. Like even myself or, or other things like that. I feel like it doesn't feel too much my own style. So maybe I'm going to prioritize you know those angular shapes more often than not that's at least what i'm thinking about but i don't know uh that's nothing too concrete yet i guess Uh, haven't thought too much about it I just it's not like I need to have only one art style it's just that um, whenever I think about what is me I do feel like angular is more me and while rounder while I have done stuff that which is pretty round. I feel like I end up not liking it that much. I don't know how to explain it too well. It's just like, yeah, I need to lean more into those sharper lines, I guess. At least for now, that's that's the way that I'm feeling. You know, it always changes. 
the style can change. At one point, I was super into messy, thick lines, and then I was into um, more clean lines. Uh, but I, I do like experimenting, so... Uh, nothing is off the table, I guess, forever, just for a while. Anti-round propaganda. <laughs> Maybe a little bit right now. I don't know. I'm feeling. I'm feeling the vibe. That's. That's all that I usually go for. Um. And I'm feeling like. Recently, things that I've done, I've been pretty happy with those in terms of style, and it's usually when I when I have like an idea in my head, which usually leans more towards that sharp angling and all that. Wait, wait, wait. The original Jadix channel is missing. It is lost media. <laughs> I'm struggling with this side. Should be a little bit like this. So. This looks just like a mushroom, although I don't know if it looks like a tea. Or maybe I should do the thing that I sometimes do, like this. Yeah, maybe this would work. Right. Mystery. Mystery, the trying best story is that the country is getting worse by the minute. Hmm. I got robbed last night, Stab, and now I have to sell my beloved French addicts to feed my whole family. Oh no. That's all that we know about the lost media, the original Jadix channel. Truly an unresolved mystery. I don't know if I'm super crazy about this long why. Let's reshape it a little bit. Like this, like it's kind of pushing others, maybe. But is it better? I think it just needs to be shorter. 
I don't think it works as that tall. Something like this, yeah. Much better. I misunderstood, so I must leave and not food. Well, yeah, and both are pretty bad on their own. <laughs> In different kind of ways. Yeah, that's the Argentinian Jetix spin-off. Truly one of the possibilities we could all have as a backstory. I don't know if you would say Argentina is now your best friend given your quote unquote backstory. That we just read, but hey. Not the one making that judgment. Happiness, no. Happiness is a warm gun. What if it's a warm gun instead of a warm gun? I'll I'll make that parody. Happiness is a warm gun. Another rainbow just like last time. Happiness is a warm gun. Oh, well maybe i like this better so let's see instead of doing a rainbow at least for now we could do like skipping a color going to the next This could this could work. And what's what's the next one? So does like this work? Kind of does. Kind of liked it like this, because it, okay. So I would have to do this. Kind of don't want to do the rainbow for it all <laughs> but uh, i'm not sure if this is any better uh, let's bring this upwards and see how it does let's see how much space we take away from the drawing It should be kind of like here because this covers the shoes with which I didn't fully do. Uh, 
So <laughs> I'm also covering other of my laziness, but hey, if it works, it works, right? If it works, it works. Another such a fun drawing. I'm sure it tastes amazing. I hope it does not. I would be scared. I don't think this would be edible. And if it was, it would be pretty psychedelic. So that's also probably not good. I'm not sure, I guess. Just checking something real quick. If this adds something that was missing for me. What? It's an interesting drawing. I'm not sure how I fully feel about it. I'm having fun. So at least there is that. And it's not too far away from what I wanted it to look like. Although I feel like some things are a little bit my shortcomings when it comes to the drawing. Like maybe I made some of the wrong choices when it comes to colors and things like that. Um, like this should probably be... like this instead which w could work no i don't think so uh oh okay we gotta be careful because like i said we don't have too many undos let's do the tour and then small like this wait why aren't you based now basident you you become crunch no how could this happen to you you were based now you're crunch no uh Feels like the kind of design you see on a shirt. Hopefully that's a good thing, right? You're like, nah. No who indeed that is a sad thing to hear. Nobody wants to be cringe. Honestly, I don't know. Being cringe can be bad. You know, sometimes when it's fun being cringe, it's actually a lot better being cringe than it's like, no, actually I want to have fun. So honestly, as a as big as the canvas is, it could almost work as a print. Really? <laughs> could 
it could. Um, this is one of my biggest canvases in recent times. I don't know why, but it just ended up being that way. But that's true, it could, could work. Though I feel like the Beatles would be pretty intense with their copyright and not let anyone sell any merch like this. So it could buy any ideas like that. That is the actual cringe. Corporations not letting you gain anything at all. So how many colors do we have? One, two, three, four. 300 pixels per inch is the minimum standard. Judging by your monitor's apparent resolution, you could print on an, like a note card. This canvas, I don't know if the size, um, you can read the size right now. This canvas at the moment is this size right now. This is how big it is at the moment. I don't think it's going to grow more, but just saying. That's letter size. That's over letter size. So which is it? Make up your mind. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But which is it? I'm just curious. Over. All right. That's, that's not too bad. The problem with printing, I mean, I haven't done it yet, but the problem that I feel like we could find with printing MS Paint stuff would be, um, any anti-aliasing which it doesn't destroy the drawing but I feel like it would lose a little bit of the vibe so trying to keep the anti-alias intact would be right preferable but it's like if it's not in the right size then it's that it's over right <laughs> It's almost like, almost over. I don't know why this said, just change a letter from the words and you're done. There's some, not the Beatles of the Beatles, they're mystical enigma tour. <laughs> True. Let's just change the masks and change a little bit of the thing going on and that's it. Copyright free. True. I haven't printed, but I never use antialysis because I like my lines crisp. Yeah, me too. But I feel like if you ever wanted to resize anything, then they wouldn't look like that. So uh, that's why I'm not sure about it. I'm not sure how it would translate to a print. But me too, I also like crispy lines.
I feel like we do need this, so I'll keep doing these edges. Printing is tough, probably. I have never printed anything out although i am always thinking about things like that so i've been thinking about possible merch that i could do in a possible future but nothing for now Because I don't even have like a user base place, I guess. Like, where were, where would I even go to a convention? I don't. I don't have a centralized place to go. So that every grub. And I don't think I would do anything because I'm also trying to be anonymous. In a way. So that's also off the table, so I'm just doing it. Maybe I could do online merch in the future. That that could be a thing. That that could fix that problem, right? Wow, this is tough, and it's gonna be all jaggy, but whatever. Even just basic stuff like managing inks and print settings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's also a huge problem when the color that you want to print doesn't really translate that well to printing, so you gotta choose an alternative. There's quite a few things that you have to think about. And you have to be careful to not mess up things. So it's quite a thing. All right. Uh. Okay, this is a little bit awkward because we were doing shading, and now I did the background, and now this is not in the correct order but I guess whatever right let's do this too does this printing of a Chromebook um, doing school from home was interesting I'll just say how so <laughs> Since my Chromebook didn't have printer ports, I had to sync up with Bluetooth or Wi Fi. Oh yeah, I, I don't understand why, I feel like 
we have so much technology. Why do things like that still fail? Like, a lot of the time. Right? Why? Um, sh I feel like at this point, um, things should work, but they usually don't. It's like, what? Sorry. What? Alright. Uh, the printer would just not show up. Yeah, that's pretty annoying. I've had that too. Printing even a paper here is kind of expensive, so I don't get good. Wait, what? I don't get it good in the first time, and that's how it's going to end up. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, it's pretty annoying. Printing is hard indeed. Oh. See, I feel like there's something we can do about this. Let's do like a really orange skin tone for the shadows. Because I feel like there's something off with this like I need to do better thought out shadows maybe or something Something like that, maybe. Maybe the album cover is a lot more yellowish, so I might hit go for something like that. Could be interesting. Yellowish, like this. Let's see how this looks. It looks too yellow then. Ah, I don't have enough undos now. Let's do like a green for the skin. I know it's not typical, but like around here. It turned into Simpsons character. Yeah. Yeah, that was too much, but I'm trying to 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 get somewhere. Trying to get somewhere, I think. This should be It's hard though, it's hard. So maybe... Yeah, I don't want it to be too Simpson-like. 
So I just with the shadows we give it enough life. But this color maybe should showcase less life like this. Oh, it's a tough one. It's a tough one indeed. Let's work a little bit on the... I was going to say characters on this, themselves, on the Beatles. Um, let's do this. And... Let's see how this looks. Maybe the white background helps us a little bit. Because that's what we started with. This is not white, but could help us. get closer to what we were using yeah because i don't know something about this whole thing i think i know what it is and i think i should edit it like just the background uh, it needs to be edited on photoshop I add noise here, add, um, what is it? A little bit of a half tone thing going on here, and it will help it quite a lot. But mm, not much I can do yet, I think. Um, So, yeah, I'm not fully liking the background right now, but I feel like there's not much I can do before any big edits or steps. But hopefully it's not the worst. Um, but let's just fix the characters and now and and then we we we. Will feel better, I think. Let's add uh, a few stars just because we have those some places around, they feel nice. Uh, All right, we're still almost at the end. Uh, well, almost three hours. Whoa, um, not what I was expecting. I thought we were still at the two hour mark, honestly. But hey, I mean, it always happens, right? Uh, All right, let's let's try to fix the colors and finish up with that because that should be that should be what we should be focusing on fixing up the colors. All right. I'll do this darker over here and like this. 
And that's the one. Now for the head, you can also do a little bit of a thing like this, like that. Yeah, pretty simple, pretty but it will give it more depth and it was in need of it so that's a good thing let's surround the face the top the side the shade right around here I mean I would have gotten an illustration with four characters mostly done in three hours I mean if you say that that actually makes me think I did good you know because you usually notice when I take too long on things but I don't know um I'm always trying to improve on my speed because that's something that I do, um, you know, kind of mess up from time to time, take too long, do whatever, instead of just getting to the point and But hey, yeah, that sounds good. That sounds good. I mean, like other, a lot I've noticed some things like rendering, adding lights and stuff. Yeah, I mean, at least it's fun and it. I do feel like it adds quite a lot to the to each piece, but it does take quite the time away from from everything else, especially when I'm dancing around um from place to place you're fast at drawing but part of it is also chat slowing you down um a little bit uh focusing on chat does slow me down and whenever i want to talk about things it is hard to um draw and be super focused at the same time and then talking um, but it's also something that I want to improve at, you know, uh, to me, it's like, I want to get good at it to a point where it doesn't feel silent and I can draw on and not think about it too much. Like right now it feels like a good middle point. There are times where I'm like, just really really focused on drawing on or getting a line especially when i'm i think it especially happens when i'm making really precise lines that's when i struggle the most at you know um keeping a, my attention to chat and, and things like that but like right now i'm doing what i'm doing is you know pretty just drawing shapes, drawing colors, doesn't um, bother me too much. So this right now feels natural enough. But yeah, I still want to improve, get to a better point, right? It's hard to balance talking to chat, drawing, especially when multitasking makes you worse than all the tests. Yeah, a little bit, but hey, it's... Uh, it's fun to do so and like I said it's something that I like doing because I like practicing this really specific skill for this really specific purpose <laughs> like 
I want to do this so that I can do this. <laughs> exactly what I'm doing. But hey, if it if it helps me out, it's a thing. I just, like I said, the only thing, the only point where I struggle is when I want to make like a line. I feel like I hold my breath so that I can make that precise line. So that's why um, I struggle when talking and making really long lines. Like for example, right now I was focusing on not going outside of the lines for the shading. So that's a moment where I did shut up for a little bit. Plus having that chat to talk about you probably helps with the accountability aspect of getting stuff done uh yeah uh that's actually one of the few reasons why i started doing this i was mostly thinking about trying to get things done although we quite haven't gotten to that point yet i do intend to use it that way or i could um be here and get stuff done because otherwise I wouldn't. It's not quite to that point or to that extent yet, but something that I I have always wanted, and we're working towards it. Especially, um, in the future, my next plan is with animations. Um, the animation streams were one of the. Like I tried it, like maybe two times I think before and those felt like really bad because I felt like I couldn't talk too much and needed to be even more focused so those were a struggle for me in terms of entertainment value but uh the way that I'm seeing it it's like okay maybe for those I'll make it so that it's entertaining but also not fully dependent on me. So maybe more of those um, chill vibes going on instead of the, you know, chatty vibes we have here. Um, hopefully it'll work, but I don't know yet. But yeah, for, for animations, it's like the key aspect that I want to hone in in the future when it comes to being accountable with chat. So I feel like it's the perfect place to do so. Um, I feel like on my own, I don't work enough. But if I'm here, I'm like, okay, this is working hours, right? I have to do this and I need to do this or else. Um, I mean, I'm not doing any content, right? A little bit of that. That's what I have in mind. This needs to be a little bit greener, I think. Uh, there are plenty of line drawing exercises if you want to build up that dexterity and not worry about having to hold your breath. Really, how are they? How did those? I mean, how did does that work? I'm not sure if that's. I feel like the thing is. I probably do need get to get to a point where, you know, the usual, um, let me see, the usual advice that you get is that when you're doing lines, you shouldn't do like this. Let's say this is precise and slow and steady. And you should do like this. Um, do fast strokes and then just undo if you need to and then if you get it you get it which this actually came out better than this one which was slow and steady but i don't know why i just don't actually enjoy making the precision lines like slow and all that but i shouldn't do those i should actually just be doing this which is quicker and yeah I guess there's a balance to strike between fastness and precision. Yeah, people usually say, like, instead of just, for example, doing, let's say, this ear shape, right? Instead of doing this, 
like slow. I should be doing like this and getting it right. And if not, then trying again, trying again until I get it right without making it. But I don't know. I don't even know if that helps me with drawing. Maybe if I'm too focused on undoing, I wouldn't be um, that good at um, at speaking either. I'm just gonna go with the same color for everyone now. Um, I wanted to do different colors, but I feel like it wasn't working well enough. They weren't meshing that well. Yeah. So this looks a little bit better. This we can work with. The more important thing is to find speed that's both comfortable and confident. Yeah, and also in this time we, since I'm also streaming, we would need to add the third component, which would be talking and being able to multitask enough, which is also hard on its own. All right, and this is much better. Now, I want to make something like this, but with a few brighter lines, just so that it looks nice. Wait, brighter? Because it will make it look a little bit messier and more organic even though it's not that um not a thing I was super going for the organic feel I'm just um, going off what feels right I think this does make it look nice like they're it's even more fluffy and then we're gonna go for a darker one too uh wait like this. Let me see if I'm not missing anything. All right. Let's keep on going with uh, with a few of these. Uh, guess we can do some here. Some other here, right? And especially this area. The line exercises I do mostly based on uh, Telephersis, where he draws 10 lines in a row on top of each other over and over. But I also draw C curves and S curves. Um, I don't think I've seen that from him, but or from them. Uh, but it sounds interesting. Although, I don't know what it is about me. I feel like maybe it's because I never do it like thinking about it too much. Like for example, I've never been able to do a study because I feel like I'm too self-aware. I don't know how to say it. Um, and I feel like a lot of people sometimes do practice like that and don't even notice that they're not actually practicing anything just repeating things and maybe that's good enough it's good enough to just repeat what you see on screen but I feel like actually when you're actually doing a study like if you were to do it for real you need to know what you're gonna be trying to improve right so, for example, if you want to improve on the way that you shade things or the way that lights work, you shouldn't um, 
go with your defaults the way you do it by default and i feel like a lot of people do they just stick with what they know and how they do it and things like that if it's like if i were to do shadows and just do three my dark and light and things like that but i should actually be looking like at how things work and trying to capture it in a certain way that will help me i don't know it's like you need to have a certain idea of what you want to practice i feel like and that is tough to do honestly i feel like it is overlooked that's like the perfect way to describe it it is often overlooked it is often something that um we don't think about maybe this is the skin tone we need And for the ones in the back, we'll just make them lighter. I think that might be it. This one in the front, I think it's fine like that. We can make it like this. Maybe. I need to do the color of the teeth a little bit more to the green side. Uh, I also try to replicate the same curve 10 times. So I do linear hatching, then curved hatching, then draw circles. Then I move from doing all the above to just my wrist. To do it in my forearm so do you do this as a way to practice muscle memory or what what is it that you're trying to look for like dexterity huh because i feel like i wouldn't want to do that precisely i feel like i would rather just try to think on how I could um, improve things. I don't know. I'm very much. I feel like many times when I'm doing something, when I'm learning something, I don't have to practice it per se. I just need to think about it and then try and do it. Um, but maybe I, I do need some dexterity practice too. I do it to practice accuracy. Hmm. I guess it's weird. For, it's like a foreign concept to me. Like, like I said, I, I also struggle with studies for that same reason. I feel like I'm too self-aware. I'm like, why am I doing this? Is this actually helping me? Uh, it's probably something about me not seeing the results immediately, maybe. Um, so maybe that's bad. Um, usually I'm pretty patient, but in that way I feel like um, maybe I need to have a goal. And now with this, maybe there is a goal about um, trying to be faster with strokes trying to not get caught up in that concentration mess that i end up with you know trying to well trying to speak but who knows because I, I do think there's something to it and i do think that's why it is an important advice that thing about um making quick strokes and all that. But yeah.
I do practice very specific things, so when I know where to grind out learning the form's perspective out of whatever I'm trying to draw, maybe that counts as study, but IDK. Yeah, I, I think it is, but that's like something that I, I don't think I'd get like, Maybe I do need it. Um, sometimes uh, I, I do try drawing some things. I do feel like, well, maybe my anatomy is pretty wonky at times. Because I don't think too much about it. And I don't mind it too much, when it, even if it's crazy. But at some points, there are times where I should um, think about it more. And maybe that's when it is important to have those hours grinded on um you know trying to improve your anatomy things like that but at the same time if i was just copying things i don't think i'd absorb it that way i think the way that i absorb things is just being very conscious of it so if i say like okay i need a reference i need to be conscious of it and then who knows I think you and I are opposite artists because I'm almost all grind and you're focused on the bigger picture. Maybe. I, I, I don't know what you fully mean with the bigger picture. Do you mean like I usually um, have a thing planned out from the start? If so, maybe, yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure what that means. Although, yeah, I do feel like um, everyone's kind of their own artists in their own way right but and I wouldn't say I'm not sure if I'm the norm I don't think so um like I said I I feel people usually do studies and that's something that I struggle with uh maybe I should one day try and do that um like you're saying you just draw and don't think about what you need to practice until you want to draw the thing. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. A little bit. Yeah, it's like if I need, if I'm drawing and then I see my anatomy is wonky, I just look at the reference. But I, I don't think that's good enough because in a way, if you want to be a good artist, you probably uh, want to have good anatomy at some point like at least in your head and maybe that's something that I am indeed missing because I haven't grinded the hours which I need to so it's not like who knows I'm correct enough I just ah I guess I just deal with it as it comes by. Looking at reference material and figuring out what you actually see is a good practice. Mm, a little bit. It does help. It does help. True. You don't need studies to improve, but they do help with observation and specifics. Yeah, I do understand your point, and you're right. Like, you don't need studies. You could do studies to practice. Um, I just wish, like, it's something like, I just wish I could understand it better, because so far I feel like I don't know how else to explain it other than whenever I try to do like a study which I don't usually or anything like that but I feel like I'd be too self-aware that's that's my problem or my issue like okay let's um I think this example would work real quickly so for example let's say I'm doing a study so, I feel like I, personally, 
need to be like super aware of what I'm gonna be doing. Which I which I could do, but maybe I'm lazy and I don't wanna think too much about it and then I feel like sometimes people could also do this. I don't know how many are um like get into this problem as well. But I feel like I don't know. Let's say I go to the website which puts like models doing things, right? <laughs> See, this is why I need studies. No. <laughs> but let's say I go to the website that that shows pictures and and I try to do that, let's say. But I feel like if I were to do that, my default would just be copying what I see, right? So I would be copying everything of what I see. So it's like the face, blah, 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 and the body, and then the... Oh, no, wait, we can't undo too much. So let's not go crazy with this, right? But what happens is that I feel like Maybe some people can do more. Maybe this is just how I work and I haven't done this, but this is how I think could maybe help me with doing studies. The thing is that if I want to do a study, I think I should probably just focus on one thing and one thing only. Like if I want to focus on anatomy, maybe I'll just first focus on the shapes, right? If I want to focus on the shadows, maybe I should just focus on the doing black values, a gray value, and something else. And white value, I guess. I don't know if that's how you even call it, but you understand. <laughs> uh, but I feel like if I'm just drawing the whole picture, I won't learn anything, right? So that's the problem that... I usually find with doing studies that that I feel you should really focus on one thing to actually really improve because if you hone in completely on shapes then your shapes will level up right if you hone in completely on I don't know shading then your shading will level up but if you just recreate an image, I don't think I will level up that much. But that's how I think about it. And I'm not sure how, how, how like that um, translates overall. But yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little bit of what I think. I don't know. It's weird to explain that. Uh, All that to say, that's why I don't study. <laughs> that's why I can just skip studying. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But yeah, it's an interesting topic for sure. I find it um, fun and interesting, but it's a little bit weird for me. I, I, I wish I could fully understand what um, goes on in my head to fully explain it. And I haven't done a study in a while. I know I did like a few years ago, I guess. I have tried, I guess. But I feel like I would need to try again in order to actually explain what I what I feel could be an issue. Because I feel like I can, I can see it happen to people sometimes. Like I sometimes see people saying, oh, this is a study. And I feel like, not sure what you were studying, maybe, right? Because maybe you just recreated the image. Maybe you just were, but maybe people were doing something. I don't know. I'd need to ask. <laughs> I'd need to know in order to criticize. So I'm not trying to criticize like other artists or anything like that. Uh... I guess this is a weakness of my own, which maybe I see reflected on other people and I'm projecting. I'm not trying to. Um, but that's why I struggle with the concept of 
perhaps studying. Yeah, that's why I end up doing most of the time in pain. Yeah, non-specific studies are kind of unhelp unhelpful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I feel like, I don't know why, um, like, every time I've done it, I feel like I, I don't know if it's because it's boring for me. Maybe it's that. I, I, like, I feel like I end up being not focused then on doing that. So, and I don't set any goals. So I end up doing, um, nothing too specific. So then we end up with something that doesn't really help. And I feel like sometimes maybe other people could do that too without knowing. They're just copying a picture and thinking it's a study. And yeah. But I mean, this isn't about you. This is just like... um. my overall observations of the world how it works maybe this is a message that could help people this could be a, an interesting topic to make a video on although I'm not sure how well it would do or i could make it work maybe i could even use this Beatles drawing as the background. Mm. Thinking. Thinking about the content. Sadly, my Mario video didn't do as well as I was thinking, but I'm pretty much content brain right now. Like, I feel like I need to be on that grind doing videos and I'm motivated. Hopefully some ideas will pop off, right? Um, stories are pretty boring. Yeah, that's maybe why I, <laughs> I struggle with that too. Uh, doesn't mesh well with the internal motivation to draw for fun. Yeah, I feel like most people are like, you and don't like studies. I'm just weird and perfectionist. Mm, I'm not sure. I mean, I, I do believe that you're a perfectionist probably. But the thing that I'm not sure about. I feel like I see a lot of people doing studies. But maybe could be about the circles that I browse, right? Um... And yeah, maybe too many people. Um, I honestly, I just because of that, I want to do studies now because I honestly don't like being. Um, I don't like being the norm. I like being the weird one. So <laughs> I might just take up on doing studies so that I can be the weirdo now. I don't know, I love being weird. And if I can't be weird, then I'm not being me. Yeah, you gotta get that portfolio, so you gotta practice the skills that'll make a portfolio, so you can build the job I need. Yeah, I guess. I don't think I'd have a good portfolio, honestly, considering considering the art that I make. I don't think so. Uh, cause uh, I'm not saying cause it's bad art. I just think. It's all over the place, the things that I do. So if you want to make a portfolio, you probably have to have like a, I don't know, strong thing going on for you, right? I feel like that's why people study and practice the fundamentals usually. It's probably, that's probably true. 
And I probably do see a lot of people from the industry doing that. So that's true. I didn't think about it that way, but might be the case. I'm just a hobbyist. Mm. I wonder if I would be a hobbyist too. I feel like I'm in a weird limbo when it comes to that. Like, I'm not doing it completely in a professional sense, but I also kind of want to in some ways. But then again, I'm just basically doing whatever. So again, we come back to it being a hobby. It's kind of in a weird spot, right? I want to know how to classify it. I mean... It would be more of a hobby right now since I'm not um, fully earning from it, but just in the way that I want to do it, that I feel like that's what I wonder about. Yeah, we're all a mix of influences in terms of what we make, but it does help to narrow down exactly what you want. Yeah, sure. Notice that you seem kind of aimless. <laughs> That's true. Oh. Uh, want to make it look like that's that's totally me. I'm totally like, yeah. I want to make it look like graffiti. Oh wait, scratch that. I want to make it look like <laughs> cool <laughs> girl. Uh, wait a minute. I didn't add the magenta rim light yet. Sure. That is, that is me. Uh, don't know why I do that, but I do that. Whatever calls my attention, I'm running towards it. I'm like, oh, this is... I'm like, I notice something else and I'm like, oh, you know what? I need to do this. Right now, even though we were doing something totally different. I mean, at least I feel like get to um, the place that I want to get to. But it can be a struggle at times too. Hmm. And I don't know if I would be able to, especially when doing things like this, especially in a stream, and I don't know if I would be able to um, conduct myself completely correctly when it comes to picking what to do. It's like sometimes we chat, I end up drifting away and saying something else that I forgot about, things like that. I mean, I do still kind of follow the, the, the same, I guess there's no other way around it, right? You do the same line, which is doing the line art, then doing the shading, I mean, the painting and then shading. And then usually the background comes at last. Although with this one, I feel like it was helpful having the background already because of, I don't know, seeing the colors, how, how they meshed, wouldn't fully work before, like it was before. So, yeah, it's a, it's a thing, it's a struggle, it's something... Although this one should be, let's do this one like this, let's see if that works. And then let's do this like this. Let's see if that works too. I feel like it does. And, and let's do the hand. Oh, 
No, actually, no. I think that's fine. Uh, uh, uh. Do, 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 All right. We're almost, wait, what? We're almost there. Uh, was a little bit of a longer ride than I anticipated, but hey, at least it's happening, I guess. All right, looking good. Thank you. Um. I feel like I'm gonna need to um, add a few effects for the background in Photoshop, but hey, uh, I guess it happens sometimes. You know, you can't always be fully reliant on the paint, I guess. But so far still, I think this was pretty fun. Uh, let's do just a few of the lines. Sorry, did I miss anything? Um, I don't think so. I was just doing the hands, finishing the background, hopefully done with this soon, right? Lines should have been, this lines are too thick, I feel now. Uh, yeah, no, just uh, working out a few details. I don't know if I like this enough, but like I said, uh, I'll do a little fixing in Photoshop, at least for the background. The characters look fine, and I think I'm happy with that. But the background, I feel like it does need that extra factor, the half tone, and I don't know, a little bit of noise, maybe. Let's make some noise. All right. I feel like for now. For today, wait, what? Uh, wait, give me a second. I feel like for today, this is the noise. Noise. Uh, today, this is it. I'm just setting. Wait, I need to add. A few lines over here. Looks kind of empty. Nah! And... Over here too. Pretty good. And let's do one real quick. It's like bluish like this. It's in some areas, so but just a few to finish this up. Oh, it needs to be dark. Maybe like this. So let's try that out. Quickly like this. And we have that over here a little bit. Like this, and then 
like that. I don't know why, it's just in a few areas we have that going on. So I'll just do it quickly. And... Da -da 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 -da. And eraser, let's do that. Oop. Ah, there we go. Let's make it work. Eraser again. And yeah, I think this is it for today. I need to rest as well, and hopefully I can work on some of the videos that I want to make. I was working on the a little overlay for the shorts, although I was trying to do it on Blender, but I feel like I'm going to go back to Paint 3D because it's not that it's... um, I don't feel like it's going too bad on my whole process on blender but it's just going slow and i want it a lot faster but yeah uh thank you for coming to the stream grubs uh, hopefully i'll see you next week have a good night don't let the bed bugs bite and yeah see you grubs bye bye Ugh, i'm stretching ah. hadn't stretched for a while Whew. yeah night grubs bye bye